previously on the life of a broski. Perfect. Hola, hermanos, muchos gustos. What? Wait, I've been watching too many Spanish films on Netflix. Let's do that again. Hello, broskies, and welcome back to another edition of Bye or bye. And if you're new here, I'm Erkin and this is the life of a broski, where I bring you sneakers, lifestyle, and more waffle than Captain Birdseye. And on today's episode, I have the Nike Air Max Tailwind 4. I've already done a Tailwind 4 review. I did do the black reflective colorway, so I'll leave a link down below if you do want to watch it. But I was actually looking for a new summer sneaker. There was a lot of sales on from Nike, and for those who follow me and look at the community tab, they know I post a lot of sales on there. And these were one of the sneakers that I posted up. <laughs> I'm so glad I caught these. And yes, having a summer this year is in jeopardy with all that's going on, but it's an investment. It's nice to have. Even if it is around the kitchen or in the living room, why not? So they were going for 140 pounds on Nike.com, but then they were on sale for I think 86 pounds. And then Nike did an extra 30% off. So that brought it down to around 58 pounds. And I was like, take my money, just take it. And I'm not disappointed. Look at these bad boys. So going around this sneaker, this Tailwind 4 gives a new look to the 90s classic. Going towards the front of this sneaker, just on both sides where the toe box would sit, there are those 3M reflective spots. Of course, on the midsole is that separated Air Max unit, which is surrounded by the Nike foam technology, which adds to your cushioning and comfort. Now the materials on the upper have a good blend between mesh, leather, and those TPU striped overlays. And in my opinion, this colorway, the Ghost Aqua, Wolf Grey and Red Orbit, has a great balance between keeping it bright and also colorful. Going towards the hill counter at the back, there is that rounded Nike swoosh logo and the Max Air just beside it. Going towards the outsole of this sneaker, it does have a lot of similarities to the Air Max 95s, but where I feel it stands out on its own is towards the back of the outsole. You can definitely tell this rubber is a lot more durable than your average Air Max. And there is that writing dual pressure heel BRS 1000 and it is very evident with the feel on foot on how cushioned it is. Inside of the sneaker there is that fleece like material which gives you great cushioning and comfort on foot. So broskies going around this colorway I am love struck. The red orbit accents on this sneaker oof. I love it. Now, when it comes to the sizing of this sneaker, these were very much true to size. I did notice in the middle part of the sneaker, it does tend to get a bit more narrow. So if you have wider feet, I'll advise go half a size up. Now, when it comes to comfort, this sneaker is very underrated in my opinion. I feel like this sneaker doesn't sacrifice anything with that feel on foot. So overall, I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. Now I know this sneaker does use that fleece material on the inside. And of course, that does add a lot more insulation to the sneaker. What's really nice about this silhouette is that fleece material is only really in place, mainly towards the collar and the back of the sneaker. So the rest of the sneaker is mostly covered by that mesh and fabric material. So it's a great blend between stability, comfort, and of course, breathability. So out of 10, I'm gonna give an eight and a half. So broskies, we have come to the part of the video where I decide if these are a buy or a buy. Now I have nothing but nice words and things to say about this silhouette. And this colorway just gives me that extra Mm, definite summer banger and I'm glad I caught these especially on sale. I really do feel that the Tailwind 4s are really underrated as an Air Max. So of course I have to give these a buy. 
Now, if you are thinking about copying a pair, I will be leaving links at the top of the description. So check out the latest prices and availability. But broskies, I wanna know what you think. Are you a fan of the Tailwind 4s? Are you looking to cop a pair? Would you get another colorway? Or are these a total buy from you? Leave your comments down below. And of course, I will be pinning the best one. Anyways, broskies, that's enough from me. I do hope you're staying safe. And of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. And of course, until the next episode, take care. Tomato, honey, love me.